what's going on guys lcg here back with another episode of life is strange episode three here we got max waking up on chloe's bed after an eventful night at blackwell academy we just got done sifting through the principal stuff we got a couple records that we got to look through uh they found some incriminating stuff in his office but uh they didn't print any of it out so there's that so we're gonna go ahead and wake up and take a selfie apparently. Always remember this moment. Photo bomb! Photo hog. It Selfies like a on a Polaroid. Yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do have a test. So pack up and take me to school, kid. I have a dorm there. Keep waving at the taxis. They keep turning their flags on. But Julie knows a party okay, I need to get dressed now. Yeah, that'd be nice. Oh, we never read Warren's text from last night. Glad to see you didn't blow up Blackwell last night. By the way, the drive-in is actually popular, so I'm buying the tickets now. I'll let you take care of the popcorn. In other words, you can't back out now. Warren, I'm sorry, dude. I'm so sorry for the position you're in. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can... Find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. That poor guy, all he wants is to spend time okay. with Max. He wants time to be to Max's Chloe boo. Cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes, just to see if they fit. Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Well, this is an easy one. It was a double dare. Damn. You're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl-on-girl -girl action. You're such a dork. Yep. Oh, man. That was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. So anybody who's ever been in the military has played a game of chicken or two. And I'm sure that goes throughout colleges across America. It probably happens in most modern Looking sick, Max. Anything. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka Bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Oh, word? Joyce is cooking breakfast? Let's go see what's going on down there. What up, Ma? Oh my god, that smells so amazing. 
All right, Kate, what do you got to say? Okay. Um, Max, thank you from my heart for reaching out to me on the roof. You're the only one who was there for me at school. The only one who truly cared. I have to believe you were sent to give me hope. You did so much more than that. My father is grateful as well. You'll always be in our prayers. Love and blessings, your friend Kate. I'll be as soon as I can, promise. It's like when we were kids here. I'm glad Kate's appreciative, but uh, that can lead to some pretty strange complexes. And some photos. We already looked at those. I thought we could see. There she is. What up, Joyce? Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Eggs and bacon. We don't need no stinking Eggs and carbs. Bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. I can handle eggs and bacon. Easy day. I do this all the time. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Uh, and let's go ahead and open this up. I should evolve and become a vegan, but huh, bacon. Naya, you right? Grape Thanks. soda for breakfast. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce. But we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Ooh. What? Why would Joyce know is Rachel okay? Um. Is Rachel in trouble? We need to find that out. I hate to even think this. Much less say it out loud, but I think Rachel is in serious trouble. Not I know. the question I thought you were going to ask. I watch those awful true crime shows, and it makes me ill if I think about Rachel ending up on one. So I don't think too much. I see why Chloe is so obsessed with finding her. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Uh, yeah, probably. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila. A breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> Go sit at the table. Yeah, alright. Uh, I can do that. And honestly, Joyce, I would have been fine with that cereal, too. It looks like uh, maybe some Apple Jacks or something. No, it's chocolate in nature. Uh, uh, ooh, that's a beer bottle sitting there. It looks like. Got that brown bottle flu, do we, Dave Manson? And look. I guess nobody waters the plant here. And look. Oh, man. I don't want to be famous for this. Too late, sweetheart. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good. You can clean. No, no. I can't clean from the table, Joyce. Come on now. You know better. Okay. Bring those eggs and bacon to my belly. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. 
Now get up. Get up, you lazy bum. Okay, we're done. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wowzer. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and... And... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. And that's the picture that goes into the photo contest. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Heed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. Ooh. All I right. do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Maybe it's the brand of beer. This is where those files were, I think. No, they're Nothing up here somewhere, here. though. Were they on top? Maybe it was this one. Nothing in it. Hmm. Naturally, David would buy a heavy duty milk. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Yeah, yeah, it would. 7171. And anything else in here worth looking at? We're not going to go into his gun rack. Um, we'll search in the drawer. There might be some sticky notes huh. or something. Maybe this ID number might work. Which ID number? Am I supposed to be writing these down? I sure hope not. I could try the license number for the password. Alright, hopefully this doesn't ask me to actually try these. Um... Oh, no, he's in the military. Or he was in the military. Magic 8-Ball says no. Okay. Worst hacker ever. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. No problem. We can go back in time. Go ahead and take a look at this book, too. Looks like David because... has read this a lot. What did he learn? Um, maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Did we already check this drawer as well? Yeah. I could try the license number for the password. 
All right, was there anything on this side? Sun visor. Uh, oh. I see. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. I, I don't know what to think about some of these. Like, he's really just going around looking at things saying, oh, this might be useful. I'm going to have to go back and rewind over and over again. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Honk, honk. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. All right, let's get to trying some of these. Um, we just tried that army password. That one didn't work. Uh, let's try this one. Nope. No way, Mac. Stop. Let's see if we can go back to... And one more. Such wrong. No way. Alright. Rewind. This is going to get tedious. Oh, shit balls. No way, Max. I was kind of hoping that stepdad would work. Score! There Max we go. the hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Rachel avoids her dormitory. Followed Rachel to Lighthouse. Okay, so this would be stalking. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Uh, watch Kate with her church group. She knows her Bible. Kate stays in the bathroom longer than other students. Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust grown men with goatees. Yeah, it's understandable. Um, not even church drugs. Okay. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. She's got a copy, or he's got a copy of her uh, school schedule. Let's see. Rachel Amber picked up 235 for possession of a controlled substance, reported by Dave Madsen, head of campus security. Um, this officer was called into question, Miss Amber, uh, okay, so she had some, um, some pills on her. I better tell Chloe about this now. Oh, it's just one more thing to make her sad and, and mad. mad. So she's in jail. Oh, oh, let's see what Taylor has to say. If you're going to the party, I'd love to style you up. You know, if you want. Uh, so Taylor is one of Victoria's friends, right? Let's go ahead and take a peek here. Um, where's Taylor? Taylor, Taylor. Uh, well... Max, Jefferson, Principal, Warren, Chloe, Frank, Joyce, Rachel, Victoria, David, Kate, Nathan. I don't see a Taylor. Yeah. Okay. Time to break the bad news to Chloe. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? 
and I'm gonna bust them. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras, so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Ooh, okay, so here we are in this strange situation, right? Um, I kind of want to, well, one, I wouldn't take sides with either one. But in this particular situation, it would be better to side with David and sidebar Chloe afterwards, right? Because ultimately they're trying to build a case. And escalating this further... Letting, I don't, yeah, see, now if we go with Chloe, it's going to be pretty clear that we were snooping through his crap. And I don't know what she's going to say, but I can only assume she's going to go straight in to tearing up all this stuff about Kate Marsh and the whole surveillance thing. Side with David. Sidebar Chloe later. Listen, we don't know that David did anything and nobody has any proof against him. As far as we know, it's Nathan Prescott who's the real threat so far. I would cut David slack here. Oh, would you? How generous, King Max. So suddenly it doesn't matter how shady David has been acting, or that he keeps all those weird files on your classmates, or how you're always going off on how creepy David Enough. is. Enough! I don't want anybody being accused of anything. There's been too much of that crap going on around here lately, and I don't want it in my home today. Well, I agree with that. Now, if you all don't mind, I'd like to forget about work and sit down and eat some of this incredible grub. I have to take a dump. Are you coming, Max? Are you going to take me home? Maybe I went too easy on David for Joyce's sake. No, 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 no. That was the right call for a completely different reason. Thanks for letting me down again, Max. Why can't you just rewind so I don't have to see you defending that asshole? Uh, I got something to tell you here, Chloe. Okie dokie. Guess we're just gonna walk out on that note. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not going to believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that going to prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything. For his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shitballs. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Well then, alright guys. We're sitting at about 25 minutes right now. We're going to read this text from Dad. Maxine, pop here. I'm sorry I haven't gotten in touch sooner. I know your mom is very proud of you for saving that girl as am I. We have no doubt seeing a blackmail was the best thing you ever demanded we do. It makes us so proud to read about you in the news and see actual video of you walking down from the roof with that girl. And if you want to come back home now to relax and maybe go to a high school around here, the door is wide open. Love, Pop. Thanks, Pop. 
it's been a whirlwind here. I'm not ready to come home just yet. We'll talk later. Max O. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna end this episode here. Everybody, stay happy, stay healthy, and tune in for the next episode. Don't forget, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I'm sorry, I'm begging you. I don't mean to, but I have to sometimes. All right, because sometimes people forget, even though they're watching the full series. All right. Thanks, guys, and I hope to see you soon.